I'm really proud to present our new chef, Chef David Santos, who comes to us from some amazing restaurants. His food's been amazing and people have been loving it. I had a friend who was in contact with the partners and uh, he asked me, he said, you know, I got a really great bunch of guys that are, you know, looking for a head chef. Would you be interested? And then uh, I came through and walked kind of by myself a little bit through the uh, dining room. I uh, loved the space, loved what the focus and the goals of the restaurant were. We, we really, really focus on it being a restaurant with great drinks and great service and great food. You know? It makes that, you know, the job that much easier. You know, I grew up in a Portuguese household, just kind of immersed in that food is family kind of mentality. Obviously, we eat a lot of fish. You know, we're we're on the ocean. I got a really concentration on seafood, and I think over the past years, you see that shift going over, you know, towards that seafood item. You know, it's it's really good. It's refreshing. It, it helps me because that's what I love to cook. I went to culinary school, Johnson Wales in Providence, and then I uh, went back to Jersey, got a job at two of the best restaurants in Jersey. The Ryland Inn was a chef named Craig Shelton. He had a Roy Chateau Gourmand, and uh, Nicholas Harari is the chef owner of Restaurant Nicholas. What we're gonna put together for you guys today is gonna be the, uh, the Spanish mackerel. Portuguese food tends to be you know, very rustic, very homey, so we wanna create a dish that has a little bit of a refinement to it. We're gonna start off actually with our baby sweet potatoes, our fingerling sweet potatoes, and then we're just gonna simmer them very gently to cook them through. You want this to kind of sit and create color and caramelization and kind of draw out that natural sweetness that the sweet potatoes have on their own. My two loves growing up were baseball and, and cooking. I played all through college, you know, Division Three. My baseball background has actually helped me immensely in the kitchen. Beautiful Spanish mackerel. I'm gonna serve it medium rare to medium. The more you cook it, it will dry out and you want to have that nice element of creaminess. House-made chorizo, this is actually my mother's recipe. A ton of what are called bebidas or pumpkin seeds. And when you bring that, that searing caramelization to it, you, again, you bring out that natural, beautiful sweetness. I'm just going to add a little fresh parsley because the Portuguese love parsley. So just strain it out. You know, you want to remove any of the kind of excess fat. We take the same sweet potatoes, the baby sweet potatoes, and we make a nice, beautiful, kind of luscious puree. We go a little Jackson Pollock style. You take the chorizo, the sweet potatoes, and the mackerel is right on top. And we're gonna finish it with a uh, chorizo butter sauce. Brings a little bit of acidity to the dish, so it cuts through that natural fattiness. And there you go, there's our Portuguese inspired Spanish mackerel. Bon appetit. I really want my menus always to kind of reflect of who I am, how I'm feeling, and you know the seasons that we're in. We have a very interesting uh, scallop dish that's actually been getting a lot of buzz. And then we have a tuna bolognese dish with everything. It's kind of it's a very special dish. If you're in New York City and you, know, you want to have a great experience, let Hotel Grafu take care of you.